During this historic global conflict World War II, hundreds of bloody skirmishes were waged on land, sea and air in Europe. But one top secret US Army battalion fought not with bullets but with stagecraft, using inflatable life-size tanks, phony insignias, soundscapes and fake radio transmissions to deceive German soldiers on the battlefield. The 23rd Headquarters Special Troops, also known as the Ghost Army, brought together artists, career military officers and audio experts in a unique unit devoted to the art of deception the first mobile, multimedia, tactical deception unit in US Army history. Using a combination of science and art, the Ghost Army staged nearly two dozen missions between May 1944 and 1945 with the sole purpose of tricking Nazi troops about the whereabouts of Allied forces in Europe. In the process, their efforts saved the lives of thousands of Allied soldiers. Its existence was kept secret for more than 40 years after the war's end, the Ghost Army remained officially classified until the mid-1990s. London-based U.S. Army officers Colonel Billy Harris and Major Ralph Ingersoll guided the formation of the Ghost Army, inspired by the success of British deception tactics in North Africa. The British Army's Operation Bertram, staged in 1942, used camouflage and more than 2,000 dummy vehicles to convince the Germans that the British were strengthening a position in the south, and to conceal British mobilization in the north. Leading the Ghost Army was Colonel Harry L. Reader, supervising 82 Army officers and 1,023 recruits, among them were art students from the industrial camouflage program at the Pratt Institute in New York, fashion designer Bill Blass, photographer Art Kane and painter Ellsworth Kelly. These and other strategists designed a four-part approach to bring Phantom Army battalions to life. The first element was the Camouflage Engineer Battalion, the guys who dealt with the inflatable vehicles, inflatable tanks. These tanks could easily be lifted and moved into position by just a few men, but from a distance they were nearly impossible to distinguish from the real thing. The second element was a signal company that concocted fake radio traffic, the radio operators were so skilled that they could mimic the Morse code. A third element of the Ghost Army was sonic deception. Audio engineers pre-recorded sounds of military training exercises and the construction of trenches and bridges, and then edited them into soundscapes that could be played on massive speakers within range of German troops, to convince the Nazis that entire combat units occupied locations that were undefended. Their most successful operation was Operation Fearson, which took place from March 18 to March 24, 1945. For that mission, the Ghost Army used 600 inflatable vehicles, fake uniform patches to impersonate soldiers from other units, and recordings of pontoon bridge building. 